there, welcome back to the vlog. So people think the Moore's Law is long dead. I think this is incorrect and I want to just cover the last 25 years up to last week. In the mid 90s, Pixar used Sun Spark Station 20 workstations to render the Toy Story movie in a render farm cluster. Each CPU had approximately 1 billion transistors on it and the render farm had a total capability of around 8 gigaflops. By comparison, the A12 Bionic chip from Apple that is going into the latest iPhone has a neural engine on board that is capable of 5 teraflops. People don't realise how much is changing and how quickly. 10 years ago, if we was to look at what is important in technology, we would have the following three items at the top of the list. Social networking, cloud computing and mobile. What is important now? We have AI and machine learning, we have crypto and blockchain, and then we have computational biology or engineered biology. That would be the third item. Another factor to take into account is the proliferation of IoT devices and embedded computers. We've gone from a situation where you might have one computer per 100 people on the planet through a time where most people have some form of computer, whether it be a desktop, laptop, a smartphone, or something of that nature, to where we are now, where we're rapidly heading to the 100 computers per person scenario. Between smart devices, smart appliances, mobile phones, digital cameras, smart thermostats, smart home speaker pod systems, like there are so many computers now, the processing power available to us is exponentially higher than it was previously. Societal norms have changed because of this change in technology as well. 10 years ago, parents wouldn't be telling their daughter to jump in a car with a 40 year old stranger, but that's exactly what we're telling kids to do when we tell them to take an Uber. In some well-off neighborhoods, Parents are now buying unlimited Uber for their kids for their 16th birthday. It's, you know, what they do now. People aren't buying cars in the way that they used to because the technology is changing how we interact and how we travel and you know, all the other things that go along with this. Another example of how technology is changing in ways that people don't realize at first is if you take a look at a recent MacBook. If you've got a 2016 through to 2018 MacBook Pro, Inside would be a chip called the T1 or the T2 if it's a later model. If you look into what these chips are running, it's basically a stripped down version of the Watch OS, another computer, but the Watch OS used to be called EOS on the T1 and T2 chips inside the Mac. Now it's called Bridge OS, but it's effectively a computer within your computer and it's responsible for doing a lot of the hardware functionality and encryption and other things in a secure enclave that is basically pulled away from the main processor and therefore not vulnerable to a lot of the attacks that previous computers were vulnerable to. In other words, there's an entire operating system that millions of people are running on their computers that they're not even aware of. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. If you like these videos, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down. If you wanna see more, please hit subscribe and speak to you soon. Bye.